so welcome to my channel triad realty group today we are looking at investment property and this is one that is on our radar here so we're going to go in we can a couple of things i always advise my clients to do when you're looking at investment property first of all look at the outside as we were coming up we saw the roof had not many issues but a couple and you can see the outside external part of the house and that is some kind of stucco that perhaps may need to be painted and updated and the um, windows obviously needed to be updated as well so here we're going we're going to take our journey and go inside so this is the front entrance of the house and honestly speaking for a foreclosure it does not look that bad coming inside of the home this is the living room um, obviously you don't want to keep the same thing this carpet does not look bad well in some spaces it doesn't outside of the home here we'll go out there in a minute because let's just advise light fixtures that's kind of cool but for update i would say no kitchen It like they tried to do some work up in here. Might have been some roof leaks. And this countertop is super hideous. Hmm. Like they painted it. Step on it. <laughs> The floor joists are not really secure. That's something you need to pay attention to too. We'll notice that when we go in the basement because if they're not secure, obviously you're gonna have to secure them because that's gonna be a safety risk. It has a fireplace, that's a great, nice addition. Uh, update that, make it look nice. But this is a nice open area for um, entertaining. This is cool, sun porch. Has a unit out here. Nice vaulted ceiling. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of weak, like right up in here. Even coming in there. Kitchen area, open kitchen area. They tried to do some things in here, but Obviously, and those doors are perfect. I wouldn't do anything with those doors, but just update the house itself. This is a half bath. Buyers love to have those type of additions where people don't have to go into their private areas to um, use the restroom. Now we're going upstairs. This is a four bedroom, one, two, three, four. Super cool. Again, another perk for a buyer. The room's not super huge, but they're not small either. And you again look at the windows. More than likely gonna have to replace all of them. Walk-in closet, doors. Whoa, look at the bathroom. <laughs> they tried to <clears throat> update as much as they possibly can. No when Mirror, of course, it's not a big deal, but this tub is super hideous, so obviously you're going to have to spend some money updating the bath, too. Jeez. And this is the master bedroom. Hmm, interesting. This is the carpet I would never put upstairs. It's more so like patio outdoor. Hmm, interesting. I literally would not do majorly, just do a few things in here to update this. It's not the floor, obviously, needs to. This cheap tile, obviously, put ceramic tile. Walk in closet. Now we're going into the basement. do down here all of this with 
like they had some party stuff going on down here. Oh, interesting. Wow. Right. <laughs> some kind of club atmosphere was going on down here. What? I don't know, but some kind of club atmosphere. Huh? Oh, it's water damage. Mm. Those are things you really, really have to pay attention to. Water is no joke and a big problem. Furnace, mm. the stack is old. <laughs> Super cool. Oh, it was straight partying up in here. What a way to make a club your home. Ooh. Obviously, we always look at the furnace. Make sure all of that is intact. It, it had to be some water issues because um, they have too many humidifiers up in here. That GFI will have to be changed because it's my update. That was a stack I was telling you about. Yeah, it's um. Mm. This is different. Making a club out of your basement. Also, the gas meter is disconnected from the house. The siding looks pretty good, though. On the external, obviously, oops, and the air conditioner is gone. Somebody either stole it, which looks like it, they did, or it was broken. So that's the external part, gutter falling down. So you have to put all these things into the valuation of what you offer on the property, as well as how much work you think it's going to take for you to get done. And as I mentioned, you got to power wash it. Windows need to be updated. They're asking 109 for this house. Hmm. Too much work to be done for that price. Because a unit for this size house is going to cost you anywhere from three to five thousand dollars for the air conditioning unit. External work outside needs to be done. As I mentioned, some of the this wood would have to be chipped, repainted. Can't take it down because it's part of the structural part of the house, but most definitely the windows. So that's part one of our day of looking at investment property at Triad Realty Group.